The market is a weekly opportunity to shop for farm fresh food and a chance for residents of Lakewood Ranch to come together as a community. Located on the grounds of the Lakewood Ranch Polo Club, this outdoor shopping mecca has expanded in its second year with new activities and special entertainment that is sure to keep the market experience fresh and exciting all season long. Morgan Bettis is the manager here of the market at Lakewood Ranch and this is the second year for the market. This is. How did it all get started? So we really wanted to bring organic vegetables onto Lakewood Ranch and so we had to look and see how we could do that and so we partnered with Warden Farm and we were shooting to sell 50 box shares and we sold 150 in the first year. Wow. And then we built this market around that box share program. There's more here than just vegetables, I've noticed. What are you most excited about this year? Really, I'm excited about the volume, the vendors that we have as part of the market this season. Last year, we started with about 15 and we just really didn't know what to expect and the community wanted more. My big goal that going into this season was double that. Really, I'm just excited for the amount of support we get. So the community really comes out and supports you every Wednesday. You get a good crowd, huh? Yeah, we do, we do. And we found that they're really excited about it. You know, they were missing the market when we stopped. They were looking forward to it. They're planning their weeks around it. So yeah, the community loves it, I think. How long does it run? Uh, we run 21 weeks. We're a short but sweet market for 21 weeks, December through April, every Wednesday, 3 to 7 at the Sarasota Polo Club. And apart from coming here and finding fresh produce and pies, what else can people do here? Uh, we added a lot of activities. So we're working with some key groups like uh, Create You DIY is a maker's workshop um, business on uh, Fruitville and they're going to be bringing projects that guests can make here at the market, wooden signs. Um, you create them and then they're ready to take home and make. And then in addition, we have 73 Degree Flea every second Wednesday, which does the Maker's Market, who we have here. And then we're doing some other workshops with a group called Kinspoke, so such as um, wreath making oh, nice. or uh, Valentine's floral arrangement making. And then, of course, bingo. So every fourth Wednesday, we do bingo. The vendors donate prizes, and we get a cash prize at the end. What has the feedback been like? So far, it's been great. So far, you know, we're in our just starting out, but we're getting really good response so far. And, attendance is up, which is what we like to see. Um, so we'll keep going with that throughout the season, hopefully. Tell us about the night market trend. How does that work? I think what's unique is that a lot of markets are Saturdays, and we decided to go in the middle of the week, and we decided Wednesday afternoon. So from December, January, February, it gets dark early, and we have beautiful lights that really make it special, and just the lighting and the ambiance kind of changes. And so nighttime is really special here at the market. And as far as ready-made things, can I buy here yes. and bring home? So because we are a night market, we go over the dinner hour. We have a healthy slew of food trucks and um, some vendors that make prepared foods. So we encourage people to come, sit, enjoy the music, eat dinner here, and take home plenty of stuff for the week. And you mentioned music. There's music as yes, well? Yes, live music every week. We showcase local artists. We rotate them through so that they each get to play. And um, each week it's a little bit different. And I noticed there are some really cute baby goats back there. Yes, we're really excited about them. So it's uh, Yoker's Wild Dairy Goats and um, run by Glenna. And every week we have baby goats here. Oh. So guests and parents can feed a goat. Um, there's plenty to feed. They're all hungry. So please come and feed a goat. <laughs> so what a fun place to come with the whole family. Yeah, it's a great place Wednesday nights, hang out for the community. Well, yeah. Morgan Bettis, congratulations Thank on all the you. success of this. Thank it's a you. hit. Thank you. We're excited.